So in the previous video, we looked at how to import in custom reports. We've also looked at creating our own custom reports, but in this one, we're going to look at creating custom dashboards. So dashboards are really exciting, really powerful, where we can add metrics, timelines, maps, charts, tables, all kinds of things. So let's jump in and see how we can create our own custom dashboard. When you're logged into Google Analytics, if we look at the home area and then underneath there, we've got customization and one of the options is dashboards. So if we click on dashboards. What we can see is a list of any dashboards that you've already got added. So these are dashboards that either I've created myself or that I've also gone out to the solution library and I've found something and imported it in, just like we have when we looked at the um, previous video where we did that with reports. So one of the dashboards that I've created is to show referral traffic. So let's look at this as an example before we actually go ahead and create a new one. So what this dashboard is showing is referral traffic. So it's looking at people that have come to my site from some specific referral or basically they've done a search, whatever it might be. So we're looking at how they've come, what that's the source is for the traffic. So let's go ahead and let's just change the date a little bit and apply. Now you'll notice that what I've got is, let's just wait for it to refresh. So what I've got is a couple of different things on here. So we can see there the numbers changing and things changing on these top sort of four sections or these widgets. We can see that this is a right now widget. So this is like the active users right now on the website and this is based on the source. So, so three people on my site and they've all come from Google. And then we can see, well, two of them have come from the United Kingdom and one from Australia. And up here, we can then see it written out as well. And we can see which pages that they're on to. Then if we scroll down, the reason why I changed the date is so we can see a little bit more information. The rest of this is showing for the date ranges, the sessions and the page views by the user type, new versus returning, how many hits in total. So whatever, everything that's kind of happened on the site, users by location, page views by referral source so we can see all of the page views that have come based on the organic traffic where someone's done a search on Google um, and then searches on Bing and so on and we can see those broken down as to where they've come from and then finally we can see it in a bar um, chart as well. So that's a dashboard that I've created. I'm going to put a link in the description um, on this video where if you want to access this report and import it, you can do that. So it'll be a direct link into the dashboard that's in the solutions library and you'll be able to import it into your Google Analytics environment. So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboards area and we're going to go ahead and create one. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to give it a title. So let's do something to do with social traffic. So I'm just going to put social traffic overview. And we've got blank canvas and we've got starter dashboard. So if I go ahead and do starter dashboard, I just want to show you what this will do. Um, and so that we can know now this is just put in a bunch of different widgets, but I don't necessarily want any of those. So let's go back and we'll just get rid of that one. Oops, sorry, let's delete the dashboard. Yes, let's delete that and we'll start again. So we'll do social traffic overview and this time we'll go with the blank canvas and let's go ahead and create the dashboard. Now, when you do that, it's going to immediately say, OK, well, you're creating a dashboard, so you need a widget of some kind on that dashboard. So we need to go ahead and pick a, one of the widgets. You've got two different types of widgets. You've got a standard widget and you've got a real time. The standard is going to show you the, the data based on the time frame that is linked to the dashboard. So we can see here grayed out behind, it's showing May 1st to June 11th because that's the date range that I picked previously when we were looking at the complete dashboard for referral traffic. But if I, if I pick a standard, it's going to show me the data based on that date range or whatever date range we change it to. Real time is basically the real time data of people that are on your site right now. So if we pick real time, that's what we're going to be looking at rather than it caring about the date range that we've got selected. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put a metric in and we're going to do 
um, social media traffic visitors and for this one I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick users now once we've picked that we could put in a filter if we wanted to but we're just going to go ahead and save it for now all right so as soon as we've done that we've got a metric we've got a number so we know that within this specific time frame then we've got 12,492 users or people that have come to the site it's not actually tied to social media traffic just yet so we're going to change that in a moment first of all we're going to go ahead and customize the dashboard and we can see the different layout options so we've got um, three columns there of different sizes we've got two we've got four and so on for now I'm going to go ahead and pick the 50 50 so we basically have two different columns of equal sizes let's go ahead and add another widget and this time I'm going to go ahead and do a real time and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a table and so this is now the metric is now locked the metric is active users but now what I can do is I can put in a dimension and what I want to do is I want to know what page somebody is on and then I can say well how many rows do I want to display and then I can go ahead and let's give this a title pages visited and we'll save that and once I've got that on there so I can move that around and remember I've picked active so that is going to be something that is changing over time based on the active pages at that moment in time regard regardless of what the date is there so we can see there that just changed so this is it doesn't matter when you've got an active um, widget based on the users let's go ahead and add another one and for this one we'll go ahead and also I'm interested to know real time where people are coming from so let's look and see countries or cities um, we can also put in a region and then we can go ahead and save it so we've got a world map and it's based then on the country and we can see that information again we can move that around we can put the active information over here so with these widgets we've just been adding them and even though we've called this social traffic overview we haven't done anything to just display the social media traffic so what we need to do is we need to add in some filters to these widgets so if I go back to this widget for example and I go to edit it I can add a filter and for this I only want to show where the social network dimension so we can see here we've got the social network there's two of them though so what we need to do is if you just hover your mouse over the question mark this is the originating social network the social network where the activity originated and that's what we're looking for this is something where it's talking about where some specific activity has occurred but we want to know where it originated so if we pick social network exactly matching and if the, it didn't come from a social network it'll say not set so let's change that don't show social network exactly matching not set we only want the ones that actually have a social network tied to it so I'm going to go ahead and save this and it's changed from over 12,000 visitors to 425 all right so let's go ahead and let's add another widget so we can see there that we've got some other options we've got a timeline we've got geomap table pie and bar chart so let's go ahead with the pie and we've got a metric and a dimension so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick oh, go with users and dimension We'll go with social network and again I can add in a filter and I could do that same filter and I could say uh, don't show with the social network where it's not set but if we just go ahead and close that and let's save it 
there we can see the not set. So we can see the majority of the traffic is not coming from social networks. Um, so that's basically going to give us a pie chart with a massive slice that's basically got nothing to do with social media. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add that filter in. So I just wanted you to see what it's doing and how I know that it's not set. That is the um, filter uh, criteria that we need to use. So let's just go ahead and add that in. And we're putting the filter on so that we can have a pie chart that is um, a little bit more meaningful to us for this specific dashboard. So now we can see very clearly how it's broken out and divided up by the social network. So we can keep on adding as many widgets as we want. Um, as we save each widget on there, it's saving the dashboard immediately. So if we want to go ahead and get back to it, if I go to dashboards, there I can see is my dashboard that I can just click on it, open it up and see the, the widgets that we've added to it. So you can keep on customizing the dashboard, keep on adding new widgets to really get what you want. For me, I find the dashboards to be one of the better areas within Google Analytics. Um, I especially use my referral traffic dashboard a lot when I want to see where people are coming from and I want to really drill down and see which of the referral sources are getting me the most traffic to my website. So go ahead, let me know in the comments below what sort of dashboards you think you might create. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.